Welcome to News 11.25. I'm Molly O'Connor. Today we'll be discussing the Battle of Granicus. Let's go to Abby to see what's going on. Hello, today I'm here at the Battle of Granicus in northern Antolia at the Granicus River. This battle is being fought by Alexander and the Macedonian Alexander the Great and the Macedonian versus the mighty Persians. After Alexander's father, Philip II, died, Alexander, his son, wanted the chief revenge of the Persian Empire. Little was named of Alexander by the Persians. Because of this, Darius II didn't think it was necessary to meet Alexander. Um, back to Molly to learn about some of the fighting tactics of the war. Thanks, Abby. Now I'm going to talk about the fighting strategies that occurred in the battle. The Macedonians had 32,000 infantry, 5,100 cavalry, plus na navy and other allied forces. They had a total of about 90,000 men. The Persians had 20,000 cavalry and 32,000 infantry. Once Alexander found out about the location of the Persians, he advanced towards the river. When Parmenian, one of Alexander's most loyal generals, advised the way till morning to attack, but Alec ignored and decided to attack that afternoon. When both sides arrived, they stood across the river at each other in silence. Alexander attacked first and sent his companion cavalry, lancers, and light troops across the river. Then the Persian responded with the hail of arrows and javelins. How did the battle end? Let's go to Abby to find out. Alexander suffered only 350 killed, while the Persians suffered over 4,000. Among the dead were the Persian leaders, Mithridates, and many others. We are very lucky to have Alexander with us today. Let's talk with him. Are you fast or slow? Fast! Is it better to be fast or slow? Fast! Why? Because if you're slow, then you'll get bitten by a werewolf, and if you get bitten by a werewolf, then you'll have to stay inside, and it'll be, and you'll have to get shaved because you'll be too hot, and then you'll be like, rah, 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 which means I want to be back to a human. What? It's not complicated. AT&T, world's fastest network. Very lucky to be here with Alexander. Hello. Tell us about yourself. Well, my full name is Alexander III of Macedon. My father, late Philip II, had a lot of wives, but out of all the kids he had, I was the only boy. I was also taught by Aristotle. I have heard around the empire that you trained a wild horse. Is this true? Yes, it is. My horse, Bucephalus, would not let anyone ride him, and everyone had almost given up. One day, I went to my father's stable and saw him running around, and no one was able to ride him. What they didn't know was that he was actually afraid of his own shadow. So by facing him towards the sun, I was able to ride him. That is very cool. Do you still have Eucephalus? Yes, he is my twisty steed. That's fantabulous. Now let's get to the battle. We heard that you ignored Parmenian, your general. Why did you do that? Yes, I did ignore Parmenian. Because I thought the battle would only last an hour. So it was a very stupid idea. What's it like to be in the front line of the cavalry? It's very nerve-wracking being in the front line fighting, but there's just something about fighting and the war that I love. What is it like to be in charge of a whole army and cavalry and everyone who is fighting with you? It is so much stressful to know I'm in charge of many lives, but I'm always hungry for land and power, and hungry in general. So I'm always up for a fight, even if my army isn't. Well, Gainer, I hear you treat your army well. Yes, I reward them with gold and candy. Now let's talk about the Battle of Granicus in general. Yes, Alex, tell us about the battle. Well, it was an interesting and nerve-wracking battle. My troops were from Macedonia, Greece, and many other countries. Sounds like a hard-fought battle. So, Alexander, is it a relief to finally defeat the Persians? It feels great to finally defeat the Persians. Although, we, were, we are far away from home, 
I think it was worth it. How does it feel to be back in Macedonia? It feels great to be back in my hometown. I know my men are about to be back too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being here today, Alexander. It was a pleasure to have you. No, thank you for having me. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Molly O'Connor, and we'll see you next time on News 11.25. Bye!